Hello YouTube, Elf Plays back once again for a brand new No Man's Sky related video and today we're going to be talking about some of the cool little communities that have popped up around the game No Man's Sky. So there's a number of these that have come into existence and they're a really cool way to get involved, build a community and become part of the whole No Man's Sky uh, fan base in an interesting and fun way. Now there's a number of these that have popped up so I'm going to cover a few of them that I personally have seen or liked or am involved with. There's going to be loads more out there and if you've got other suggestions please do drop them in the comments below. The idea of this video is basically to get the knowledge out there and let everybody else know that there are these cool communities that we can all get involved with and have fun together and hopefully I'll interact with some of you guys along the way as well. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is one that most of you probably have heard of. This is one of the bigger communities within the sort of No Man's Sky uh, subsphere, if you like. Uh, most people that play the game have at least heard of this one, and that's the Galactic Hub Project. Now, those of you that don't know, the Galactic Hub Project is essentially uh, an entire community of people that play No Man's Sky that have decided to get together to achieve the goal of exploring one region in No Man's Sky. The idea is that everybody goes there, they can explore that entire region. So that's the goal. Everybody gets together in a little hub-like area, um, explores everything there is there. They've got wiki pages explaining all of the planets, all of the all of the sort of fauna and flora you can find there, all the cool stuff, and some of the planets there look absolutely stunning stunningly beautiful. They've got Diplos, they've got beautiful lush uh, fauna planets, they've got everything you could ever dream of all in one little region of the game so it's a brilliant place to go and explore. It's one that I personally will absolutely be going to do at some point. I'm kind of saving it as a future goal for maybe when things sort of dry up a little bit on my current adventure. I'll head there and I'll always know that I've got something amazing to look forward to. So that's the Galactic Hub project. Now I'm going to put links down below um, for all the sort of information on all of the things that I talk about today. Reddit is going to be a key one for most of these. They've all got sort of central reddit pages and uh, sort of wikis and stuff that really help you get involved and understand everything you need to know so go check that out below go check out the galactic hub if you haven't already that's community number one that i wanted to talk about now the next community that I wanted to talk about is another really interesting one and that is the Alliance of Galactic Travelers or the AGT for short. Now this is one that you might not have heard of but it's really sort of growing at the moment and it's quite a popular one on Twitter. Um, it's definitely a cool one that you should be looking at and getting involved with. If you're into this kind of stuff and you love the game it's definitely going to be a fun one for you. So the concept of this is very similar to what the guys are doing over with the Galactic Hub and of course a lot of people are involved in all of these different communities so it's not like you have to pick and choose one or the other. If you really want to go all out and you you love the game as much as I do then it's probably a great idea to just get involved in absolutely everything you can and just overload yourself with uh, No Man's Sky goodness. Uh, but the AGT guys, what they're doing is a similar type of thing. They're exploring um, and cataloging things and building wiki pages and sort of sharing discoveries and naming stuff in their little naming convention so that people know that it was found by AGT members. And they're all sort of linking up to form a like pseudo multiplayer group community that can sort of enjoy the game together. The main difference between this and the hub is that this is on a much sort of larger scale. So it's not just one particular region of the game that they're exploring this is much more open they use a lot of black holes and the uh, pilgrim app that we'll talk about in a second to basically travel vast expanses across the universe and discover things far and wide um, so it's much more spread out and you've got you've probably got a pretty good chance at some point if you're playing the game of running into something that's going to be discovered by AGT members and that has their mark left on it so it's a really cool community to get involved with discover new things share your discoveries and basically have fun as a group of people that are enjoying the game and of course, for the AGT, I will put a link to their website down below as well. That's probably the key place that you want to go to. They're also quite active on Twitter, so try and find them on there as well. I'll put some links below to all of this stuff, like I mentioned, so don't worry about that. Everything you need will be in the description below. And of course, if I do miss anything or there are other communities that you think I should mention, please do let me know and we can always do another video like this, because this is going to be a pretty cool one for something we can kind of all get involved with together, which is pretty nice. Now this next community that I want to talk about is a, is a pretty cool one to me. It's actually one that was set up by a YouTuber that I follow, uh, a guy called Mac for a day. Some of you that follow the channel will know who he is. He makes a really great video, so go check him out too. Uh, but essentially the Spacing Guild is slightly different to the other things, so it's not really focused purely on discovering new things out in the world and cataloging and everything like that. Of course they are all getting involved in that stuff and a lot of the people in the Spacing Guild are also members of the Hub and all, all the other sort of communities as well. Uh, but the really key interesting thing that I like about the Spacing Guild 
is their mission system. So basically when you join the Spacing Guild as a new recruit, you have to kind of work your way up through the ranks. And you do that by doing missions. And the missions usually center around going to visit uh, somebody else. So they'll post up key missions, which will be, for example, go and visit this YouTuber's base or go and visit this new member's base or something like that. And it's just a really cool thing that you can all sort of do. You can go take on your mission, rank up, go and find that person's base, leave them a cool little message in the comm station. People have done that for me as well. You guys have seen on the channel, when I've found a little communication station and someone's left me a message, it's just a really, really cool feeling in No Man's Sky. Uh, and if you guys haven't had that yet, this is definitely the one for you. Sign up here, maybe your base will come up as a mission and somebody will come and visit you and leave a cool message. So that's, that's the Spacing Guild, really cool one. Please do go and check that one out as well. Now this next thing is not really a community in itself, but it's something that I touched on earlier, and that's the Pilgrim Star Path app. Uh, it's basically on the site here that you can see. I'll put the link for that down below as well. It's essentially a tool that you guys can all go and use to help you navigate your way around the universe in No Man's Sky. So if you've got a set of coordinates that you want to get to, you can plug them in here, and it will help you get there in the easiest way possible and the quickest way possible. So it's a super, super useful tool, especially if you're going to get involved in any of the communities where your mission is to go to a certain place. So if you're joining the hub and you want to get there, great tool to use. If you're joining the Spacing Guild, for example, or the Alliance of Galactic Travelers, and you need to go and do a mission in a certain place or catalog a certain part of the universe, really useful way of finding your way around and making sure that process is as easy and smooth as possible. So definitely check that out if you are thinking about joining any of these. Now this next community is a really, really fun one that I've had so much of a good time with and I really want to share with you guys. This is probably the one that I'd most like to see all of you guys that watch my videos getting involved with because it's a really easy one for us to all do. You don't have to travel anywhere, you don't have to put any sort of time commitment into it. It's basically a really cool little competition that's been set up. Um, it goes by the Twitter name of NMS Quest and that's Quest with a Q-W-E-S-T. Um, obviously I'll put the link up and you can see it on screen there but basically they do a weekly photo competition competition so they'll publish the rules of the competition so the the latest one has been to take a really cool picture that uses the boundary dome so when you go out of bounds with the camera that little uh, zigzaggy spiral dome pops up so it was basically find a really cool way to use that and they do all kinds of different competitions every week sometimes it's use a particular filter sometimes it's get a picture of a certain subject maybe a certain type of plant or something like that but it's always super super fun especially for me I love going on there and seeing everybody's pictures and trying to put mine in there as well it's just a really cool thing to do and the great thing with this as well is like the community that's built up around it is really really cool really supportive and a lot of the guys on there that get involved with this are really great people and of course we all share the No Man's Sky passion so definitely get involved with that one get your pictures entered every week and I will see them I will definitely comment on them and like them and share them and I'll be in there as well so you guys will be able to see my competitions every week and then once you start doing that maybe you'll realize why I take so many pictures when I'm playing the damn game <laughs> but yeah that's a really really cool one that I had so much fun with so I'd love to see all of you guys getting involved in that and that's No Man's Sky Quest. Now the final thing that I want to mention is kind of a jippery one. It's a couple of things all wrapped into one basically. And the first one of those is of course Reddit. Now there's, I'm not going to try and list all of the cool subreddit communities that are out there for No Man's Sky fans. But there are quite a few of them that you can get involved with. There's subreddits on the Waking Titan stuff. There's the general sort of No Man's Sky subreddit. There's No Man's Sky the game subreddit. All kinds of cool communities on Reddit that you can get involved with. All specifically related to No Man's Sky or the Waking Titan at ARG. Go on Reddit, search out some of those, get involved. I'll put a couple of links below to get you started but that's definitely a really cool one and obviously with things like that it's not just like one thing um, there's all kinds of different things that go on there discussions people sharing pictures little competitions all kinds of fun stuff to get involved with so that's another really sort of key place I'm assuming most of you know about but if you're not actively involved with that please do go ahead and get involved as well because that's another one that we can all sort of share together and have fun with now on the back of that it's kind of another sort of forum thing as well and that is the eTark website so anybody who is following the waking Titan stuff probably knows what this is but eTark is basically a forum site that was set up and it's linked to the whole Waking Titan ARG almost like the official forum for the ARG itself so if you're following Waking Titan or if you want to follow Waking Titan and the ARG and find out what's going on um, that's a really really great place to go and the other key thing with this, which I know <laughs> I know there's a few of you here that are really going to appreciate this, um, the the eTark website is actually the place to go um, sign up to the Waking Titan site as well, and they do voting systems on the eTark uh, website where people vote for answers, and those answers are the things that have been generating the free Steam keys that have been given out for No Man's Sky lately as part of the ARG. So if you want a chance to win a free copy of the game on Steam, 
go ahead, go and sign up to the Waking Titan website. Make sure your email is registered on there after you've gone through a few of the puzzles. Join up to the ETAR forum so you can be involved in the investigation and the discussion and all that kind of fun stuff. And it's not just the ARG stuff. We also like to talk about other stuff on there, like cool things we'd like to see in the game outside of the ARG. Some people share pictures and stuff. Basically, it's another cool place for No Man's Sky fans to go. So yeah, that's a couple of the communities that I know of personally at the moment. I'm hearing about new ones all the time. And of course, the game is starting to pick up again at the moment, which is really cool to see. So there's new ones coming up all of the time. Hopefully, this has been a really cool video for you guys to find out some, some cool little places that you can go to and some communities that you can get involved with if you are a fan of the game. And hopefully, I'll see some of you involved in all of this stuff in the future. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. As always, if you have enjoyed it, please do drop a like and comment and let me know. If you've got any questions or other suggestions for communities that I've missed, please go and put them below. Obviously, I'm not going to get all of them, um, but I'd love to hear about ones that I don't know about as well. So yeah, do that. And always, I will catch you in the next one for some more of our No Man's Sky space adventure. Take care, guys, and peace.